Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Robojax. We are very excited to introduce the Wakera Furious 320, a 320mm drone. This drone has a GPS for GPS position hold and return home. It has also built-in HD 1080p camera for uh, recording on a SD card and it's being used for FPV. It also has OSD with a full telemetry that you can see the data on your FPV. In this video, we're going to do the unboxing of this drone. Also, we will show you how to calibrate the drone. Then we will do the test flight of GPS hold of this drone. And at the end, we will do the test flight of a return home feature, which is one of the cool features of this drone. So once you open the box, as you can see, once you open the box, you can see it has been protected very thoroughly. So extra sheet of protection, a user manual. This is a quick starter book. We got a battery charger. This is a four cell battery charger and then we have spare parts which I'm gonna open next. This is the drone. Wow. Okay, so this is the drone that you see from the other side and yes, so from here all the sides which I'm gonna go next. So we have a USB cable for the letter, antenna for the transmitter, and this is Devo 10 transmitter, which is a 10 channel transmitter. Mm, comes with this, with an antenna. This is a 10 channel transmitter that you can use with any other drones. It has plenty of channels for almost all applications that you can get. Box. And see what do we get. Okay, this is, we get two pairs of props. So these are extra pairs. Besides what we already have props installed, so these are two extra props. As I mentioned, it, okay, this is a GPS uh, antenna which will go here for FPV. AC power plug. We are in North America, so this is North American plug for the charger and another set of USB cable. Okay, one of, the, one of the main characteristics of this uh, device, this has a, a 1080p uh, camera, which can record a 1080p recording, and it, it, it's used for FPV. This comes with a GPS module built-in, so you can do the return home uh, feature. And the most important feature for this device is, for this drone is, the tilting mechanism so when once when you fly uh, for fpv reasons when you fly with your regular drone you have to tilt forward tilting forward causes the horizon to disappear from your view or if you have your camera always have some tilt angle when you hover you always be pointing up so this eliminates that so as soon as you tilt forward this uh, all the motors will tilt forward and the device stays flat so your camera can get a very nice view of what is going on in front of you turn this on so the transmitter is on <coughs> okay so now it's binding 
and then we have to wait until the light fully goes or off. So once you connect the battery, uh, your drone should be armed in order to fly. So now you can see that this is not armed, so put the throttle. Uh, we are in North America, the throttle, wherever you have the throttle, put it on the left and then you will see the light. Now if I push the throttle you see these are the motors are responding so the tilting feature of the device is here so when you go forward you go backward so you can trim it and how aggressive you want to tilt My FPV is on now and as you can see I have a video here the screen. So it's out of the box ready with FPV. Once you use your FPV uh, with the OSD on your monitor or, your, or on your goggle you will see the following. The time that you have uh, started uh, your drone and this is the horizontal distance how far the drone is from you this shows how high from the ground it is this 5 volt is the flight controller voltage these two at the bottom these are latitude and longitude this is longitude and latitude the two value this is the roll 15 degrees which shows how much you tilt it to the left or to the right and this is a pitch this is the angle that uh, motors have been forward some angle or backward so the battery of your system this is the main battery you also see that one this is a horizontal speed meter mile per hour this shows the ascending and descending speed how fast the drone goes up and down this shows number of satellite how many satellites you're getting and this is the viewing angle and this is the arrow of direction of the drone so this is now towards you if the arrow is the other side the drone is going away from you we're going to do the compass calibration for wakera furious 320 every time when you move your drone from one location to another geographical location let's say far away from your house or your location let's say about one two kilometer or miles then because magnetic field strength changes from location to location, it's uh, better to do the compass calibration because it will make your drone uh, fly smoothly and respond very effectively. So to do that, let's get started. Now, uh, to do the calibration, to start the calibration, we press the two sticks inside and low. I press them low and inside and then you will see the two lights are blinking. Now we are in compass calibration mode. So the first thing that we do, we hold this and we go face that way, 90 degrees, and then 180, and then 270, and then 360. Then you put your drone this way and rotate forward. Nose to the left, rotate forward. One complete rotation. Step three, forward, rotate it fully. After that, we put the nose down and then rotate it like this. 360. <laughs> and then put your drone on a flat surface. The lights stop blinking. So, as you can
you can see now, the calibration has been completed. Today we are going to use the GPS hold for Wakera Furious 320. Now we are at that altitude. I'm trying to show you that we can use GPS hold. So to do that, we have to put this in position one. And now I've, I've removed my hand and the drone is holding at that position. Can you see both? Yeah. So now to take control, I have to just press this back to zero, and that's it. As you can see, it changed. Wakera Furious 320, one of the coolest features of this one is Return Home. Return Home is a feature that you press a button and the drone will return to the position that it starts flying. So, when we, when we fly, this is the mix button on the Devo 10 transmitter that I have, so I press this in the position 2. So when you press it to the position 2, it initiates return home. But there are two important conditions. One, there should not be trees or some branches because sometimes you can fly but the GPS might not be able to do return. And the second thing is, you should have minimum of 15 meter altitude above the ground receives. So until we see the blinking uh, flashlight from satellites, we cannot use return home feature. You see now this light disappeared and now we have flashing light. Okay? So as you can see here, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we got twelve satellites, so we are very good. Let's do a flight. So I'm arming the drone. As you can see, the drone is there, but it's not 15 meters, so let's go a little higher. So now that's the altitude. And then what we do is, so let me put it, so what we do is, we press So I just initiated the return home and let's see what it does. So you follow it. My colleague will follow that. So here, show this. Here, I'm not pressing anything. So So now it's descending.
That was amazing return. So I put this in a, the mix button in position two. It returned to the position. So I go back to zero and disarm my drone.